You've heard about Creekstone Farms. They're the slaughterhouse in Kansas that Earl's Restaurants in Canada has decided to buy all their beef from, banning any beef from Canadian ranchers. It's a slap in the face to Canada, especially to Alberta where Earl's got their start. What a disgrace. Even worse was the excuse. Earl said that this foreign beef was, quote, more humane than Canadian beef. Sorry, that's just slander against Canadian ranchers. Earl's just wants to buy its beef from Creekstone that has a certified humane stamp of approval on it, like a little trademark. It doesn't mean it's more humane in reality. It just means that a company that hands out those little stickers got paid to approve that Kansas meat. You have to pay an enormous amount of money to be certified humane. It's a racket. It's like getting a sports star or a celebrity to endorse you. Just pony up the cash and you too can have your ranch certified by some celebrity. Obviously, this outraged Western Canada, even Alberta's honorary premier, Saskatchewan's Brad Wall, joined in the chorus condemning this disloyalty from Earl's. Well, then things got even worse. As a result of this backlash from Canadians, Earl's CEO, Mohamed Jessa, said he would take steps to help Canadian ranchers live up to Earl's new standards. But it was another deception. The story was spun that Earl's was backing down, but they weren't actually. They continue to only import beef from Kansas. They don't have any Canadian suppliers. Our Alberta Bureau Chief Sheila Gunn-Reed got to the bottom of what's really going on. That Kansas slaughterhouse, Creekstone Farms, they're 100% halal. As in, all their beef is killed according to Sharia law. A Muslim slaughterer, Muslim prayers broadcast in the background, inspected by the local Sharia halal authority called halal transactions. Creekstone and Earls tried to play word games about it, claiming Earl's beef wasn't certified halal. <clears throat> it was halal, they just weren't going to publicize that fact, except to Muslim foodie websites. That's what's really going on here. Well, here's the new news. I can't even believe what I'm about to report. Creekstone is now selling, at a premium price, of course, something called non-GMO beef. Talk about humane. Talk about perfect for the hipster in your life who really, really cares. And as you can see, they promise it has all the flavor of regular GMO beef. Hey, have you ever seen that TV show called Portlandia? Take a look at this. Hey, guys. Hello. Hi, hello. My name is Dana. I'll be uh, taking care of you today. If you have any questions about the menu, please let me know. I guess I do have a question about the chicken, if you could just tell us a little bit more about it. Uh, the chicken is a heritage breed, uh, woodland raised chicken that's been fed a diet of sheep's milk, soy, and hazelnuts. Okay, this is, this is local? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I'm gonna ask you just one more time, and it's local? It is. Is that USDA organic, or Oregon organic, or Portland organic? It's just all across the board, organic. The hazelnuts, these are local? Uh, how big is the area where the chickens are able to roam free? I'm sorry to interrupt, I have exactly the same question. Four acres. Mm -hmm. Give me just a second, I'll be right back, okay? okay? Okay. Yeah, that's a comedy, but you can't really even tell, can you? Because here's the thing, non-GMO beef, all beef is non-GMO beef. There's no such thing anywhere in the world as GMO beef. But the charlatans at Creekstone Farms in Kansas have found a new way to separate social justice warriors from their money. I really don't know who to cheer for here. The frauds at Creekstone Farms or the idiots who would give them money for non-GMO beef. It's a toss-up. There is one silver lining, though. Canadian customers, even disloyal posers who still want to eat at Earl's restaurants, they won't be able to buy any beef labeled as non-GMO beef because under Canadian consumer protection rules, if something normally doesn't have GMO ingredients, you can't adv advertise yours as non-GMO unless you indicate that all other products are the same way. As in, you can't trick people. But here's the rule from Public Works and Government Services Canada in their rules about labeling. Let me quote, claims that a single ingredient food is not a product of genetic engineering shall not be made for a single ingredient food of which no genetically engineered strains have been offered for sale unless accompanied by an explanatory statement. <clears throat> for example, 
Like all other oranges, these oranges are not a product of genetic engineering, unquote. <laughs> Pretty clear. You can't say that the bottle of water you're selling is non-GMO without telling gullible customers that all water is non-GMO. Creekstone Farms doesn't follow that rule. And when I brought their fraud to their attention, they replied a little bit defensively that they were only selling their fraudulently labeled non-GMO beef in the U.S. where their ethical standards are lower. Fancy that. Creekstone Farms doesn't meet Canada's high ethical standards for their labeling of their beef and how they market it. The law won't let them trick customers into paying a premium for non-GMO beef. But Earl's will happily go along with Creekstone's halal beef, blacklisting all Canadian ranchers along the way. Just one more reason for you to sign our petition at boycottearls.ca. You know what I want to do? I want to tell everyone in Calgary about these hucksters. Calgary, and if we can do it elsewhere, other places too. I want to take out a big billboard telling the truth about Earl's, the truth that the mainstream media doesn't like to talk about because they don't want to seem anti-Muslim by talking about halal. I think we ought to tell people what Earl's is up to. What do you think? If you think we ought to put up a billboard, go to boycottearls.ca and help me chip in. We'll start off in Calgary. If we have enough support, we'll grow from there. That's boycottearls.ca. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.